Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the PyCard Tracer Activity Skills Integration Challenge. Here we can see our addressing table. Also, here we can see our VLAN table. Coming to the scenario, in this activity, you will demonstrate and reinforce your ability to configure routers for inter VLAN communication and to configure static routes to each destinations outside of your network. Among the skills you will demonstrate are configuring inter VLAN routing, static and default routes. Here we can see our requirements. Uh, we will uh, do one by one. Configure inter VLAN routing on R1 based on the addressing table. Yes, here we can see our addressing table. Also, we can see uh, the router R1 here in our topology. Coming to our addressing table, here we can see the device R1 and its interfaces uh, that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Also, here we can see the sub interfaces uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 0.10, 0.20, 0.30, 0.88, and 0.99. And its IP address, uh, submit mask. Also, we can see the VLAN number here. We will uh, check uh, in R1, we will check the uh, interface details here. Show running config and we will verify the interface. Here we can see the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 is already configured. Also, here we can see the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 is not configured. So, here we have to configure the sub interfaces. Also, here we can see it's uh, shut down. First of all, we will configure uh, the sub interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot. 10. Here we can see the IP address, uh, submit to mask, also VLAN number. Coming to R1, configure terminal, we have to go to that uh, sub interface. Interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 10. Also we have to give uh, encapsulation dot 1Q, then the VLAN ID as specified in our addressing table that is 10. Also, we are going to set the IP address. Here is the address for this interface 172.31.10.1. Also, the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Now, we will configure the next sub interface a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 20. We will exit and we will go to that sub interface 0 0.20. Now we have to give encapsulation dot 1q20. Also we have to set the IP address. So it's quite easy. Here we have to change 172.31.20.1 as per our addressing table. Also we will go to the next sub interface. That is 0 0.30 and in encapsulation dot 1q30 also we have to set the IP address it's 172.31.30.1 now we will go to the sub interface uh, 0 0.88 Here is that 0 0.88. So we know how we are accessing these uh, commands. I mean the previously entered commands. So we have to use the shortcut. I mean we have to use the key uh, up or down arrow from our keyboard so that we get uh, all the commands what were we used uh, previously. Well, here we have to give encapsulation dot 1q88. Also, we have to set the IP address. So here is that. It's 88.1. Right. Next uh, sub interface is uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 99. Here we can see the VLAN is 99 and uh, uh, this is the native VLAN. So we have to set accordingly in this uh, uh, R1. Right. We have to go to the interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 99. 
here we are going to give encapsulation dot one q ninety nine. Also, we have to make this as native VLAN. So we have to give the command to native. Also, we have to set the IP address. So one seven two dot thirty one dot ninety nine dot one. Coming to the topology, here we can see the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 in this uh, router R1 uh, is down. Uh, we have to activate this interface. So once we activate this interface, all the sub-interface also will be activated. So we will uh, go to that interface. Interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we are going to give the command in our shutdown so that all the sub-interface also will be uh, activated. Here we can see those messages. You can see the sub-interfaces here. Dot twenty, dot thirty, dot eighty-eight, also ninety-nine. Coming to the next requirements, uh, configure trunking on S1. Coming to our topology, here we can see our switch S1, which is connecting to uh, our router R1. We are going to uh, configure a trunking uh, in this interface, a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Enable configure terminal, we have to go to that particular interface. It is gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1, which is connecting to our router R1. Here we are going to give switch port mode as a trunk. Also, we are going to set trunk native VLAN 99. Copy running config to startup config. We will verify the trunking in S1. Show interface trunk. Here we can see the details. Port gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 mode on encapsulation status is trunking. Also, we can see native VLAN 99. Also, uh, we will verify in our uh, router R1 uh, whatever uh, sub interfaces we configured. Show IP interface brief. Here we can see the details, all the sub-interface and their IP address. Also we can check show running config. Here we can see with, with submit to mask. Now we will go to the next requirement. Configure four directly attached static route on HQ to each VLANs 10, 20, 30 and 88. Here we can see uh, the router HQ. Also here we can see different VLANs. So VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30 and VLAN 88. Here we are going to configure uh, these networks as a directly uh, attached static route uh, in this uh, router HQ. Now we will uh, come to the configuration. Enable configure terminal. Here we have to give IP route. Then we have to specify the destination prefix. Network address 172.31.10.0 for the sub interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 10. Now we have to give the uh, prefix mask 255.255.255.0. Also we have to give the exit interface. So here is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Also we have to give other network address. We have to change only here 172.31.20.0. Also, we have a 30.0 and uh, finally 88.0. Coming to the next requirement configure directly attached static routes on HQ to reach outside host. Configure the primary path through the serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 interface. 
configure the backup route through the serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 interface with a 10 AD that is administrative distance. Coming to the topology, here we can see uh, from this HQ to this outside host, we can traverse through uh, these two connection, uh, either uh, serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 interface or serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 interface. So here clearly they mentioned configure the primary path through the serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 interface, that is the upper interface uh, in this uh, topology. Uh, and the backup route uh, through the serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 uh, interface, right. Here we can see outside host uh, network address 209.165.200.0. Also we can see the prefix length slash 27, uh, that is 255.255.255.224. Coming back to HQ configuration. Here we are going to give IP root, then the network address, here is that, also the prefix mask, 255.255.255.224. Also we have to give the exit interface, so as mentioned, uh, primary, that is a serial uh, 0 slash 1 slash 0. Next, we are going to configure the backup route through uh, serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 interface with the administrative distance uh, 10. Uh, here we can see that interface. So here we are going to use the previous command except one change that is serial 0 slash 1 slash 1. Also here we are going to uh, set the administrative distance as specified that is uh, 10. Now we will go to the next requirement so that is configure a directly attached default root on R1. So here we are not going to configure all the static routes uh, uh, for this remote network. So here we are going to uh, configure a directly attached default root uh, with the exit interface so serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Coming to the configuration on R1. Enable configure terminal. Here we are going to give IP root 0.0.0.0 space 0.0.0.0. Also, we have to give serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Coming to the last requirements verify connectivity by making sure all the PCs can ping outside host. So, we are going to ping from these PCs. Uh, to this uh, uh, outside host. First of all, we will try from PCA. Desktop, command prompt. Here is the address. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will uh, try to uh, try from PCB. Here is the address. We are getting the replay. We will try from PCC. Ping to outside host. We are getting the replay. And finally, we will ping from PC hyphen D. We are getting the replay. Well, that's all in this packet tracer activity skills integration challenge. Friends, here we can see the completion status 82 out of 82. Uh, friends, if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give it a thumb. And if you like to get my future uploading video info into our Gmail, you can subscribe this channel. Thank you.